Tonight, power is back on at Baptist South Hospital, but recent outages are raising concerns about what's going on at that facility. This is now the third power outage in recent months. It's affected people with elective surgeries on the books. They've had to reschedule. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett joining us live near Baptist South. Jim, you've been tracking these power problems. You know, I've been talking to officials, but let me show you where I'm standing at. We're just right outside the Baptist South campus. That's it back there. They're back in business, and they were earlier this morning after being shut down well, for a short time, well, well, for several hours actually on this, because of the power outage that happened on here in this campus area today. The same thing happened yesterday, and the same thing happened last July. For two days, power at Baptist South went out, forcing the hospital to cancel non-essential services until the problem was fixed. Apparently, according to Sam Dean, who oversees facilities for Baptist Health, an electrical switch that handles high voltage broke. It happened yesterday. Officials thought it was fixed, and then it went out again this morning. Well, a similar outage occurred last July. About 6.30 this morning, we had a fault that occurred. It was in a uh, switch that's on the primary distribution, and that triggered the shutdown of the primary power. The main hospital and emergency room all had backup generators kick in. It's areas where non-emergency work, like nearby doctor's offices and other medical buildings where non-life-threatening procedures take place. They had to be canceled. If you're not in imminent danger of whatever it is that you need, those are elective surgeries, so we stopped that until we restored normal power. But when the power does go out, there is a very short time when things go black before backup power can come on. I asked, what happens if there's a surgery underway? Well, in the operating room, we have a, even a more redundancy. We have battery-powered lights as we transfer from one power source to another. That's an excellent question because we that that's not a person that we want to be in the dark for any amount of time. You know, in talking to officials here at Baptist South, they said they don't believe anybody's safety was at risk at any time. And of course, they've been working on this. We saw a JEA crew out here as well. So they're hoping this doesn't happen again. For Live on the South Side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, local station.